We have the privilege today of interviewing Mr. Mohamed Nasser, a member of the political bureau of the Free Egyptian Party. Uh, Mr. Nasser, you stand for a governance philosophy based on the encouragement of merit and fair competition based on performance. What reforms would you introduce in the Egyptian civil service and in particular in the way civil servants are recruited? Well, it's a number of steps need to be taken. It's well known that Egypt, one of the top countries who is over employment with the civil servants, we have something around 7 million people working for the government, representing like 30 or 40 percent of the total, total labor force. So number one, we need to reduce this number substantially by encouraging people working there to enter the private sector, and perhaps the government need to give them uh, some schemes to, to encourage them to eventually resign from the pu public sector and entering the private sector. We need to improve the efficiency and the productivity of those people by giving them training courses and by improving the system itself. And of course we, we need, which is an essential element, is to ex working on expanding the private sector to accommodate all of those people. Uh, we're still not really very competitive. It's not based on merit at all, people who work there. It is based on connection, uh, based on whom you know to, to, to influence and hire your friends and relatives and so on. So this sector, uh, or um, may call it this segment in the society, need to readdress and need a lot of work. You are in favor of a civil state. Do you think the Turkish model would be suitable for Egypt? Well, I think we should establish our own model, which is um, depend very much on basic democracy system worldwide. Uh, I'm not really pro the Turkish model. I am pro of a good political structure, fair and free election. Democracy is not only about election, it's about rule of law, it's about empowering independent institutions, it's about independent media, which is, does not happen in Egypt till now. What only happened is relatively good election, but the other component of the democracy system is not there. So let us visit them again, let's make sure that all the components working well, and let's forget about copying Turkish model or other countries' models. Do you have any comments on the current state of affairs in, in Egypt? Well, sure. We are still in the transitional period. We are not done yet with moving from autocratic country to democratic one. Still a number of issues and steps has to be addressed and taken, which is not there. So we will go through a certain transitional period, which is unfortunately might might entail some violence, might entail losing some of our friends and relatives and colleagues during this period. Um, the only person who can really progress in this regard is our current president, which I'm encouraging him to take some good steps to move Egypt towards a better democratic country. Finally, um, in your opinion, what should be the guiding lines of Egyptian foreign policy? Well, guiding lines is, uh, should be around um, improving peace worldwide, uh, encouraging other Arab countries and Israel to take uh, a bold and good steps toward signing a good peace agreement between them, based on justice, of course. Uh, it will be around um, integrating countries together. It will be around working and encouraging prosperity and freedom worldwide. Uh, I think in Athens, Egyptians are a society who really believe, believe in peace, believe in prosperity, um, like freedom, and we're starting to practice all of this, so we should work on extending our effort of freedom and peace and prosperity worldwide. Thank you very much. Thank you.